They got a name for people like you, Hi. That name is called recidivism. Repeat offender. Not a pretty name, is it, Hi? No, sir. That's one bonehead name, but that ain't me anymore. You're not just telling us what we want to hear. No, sir, no way. Because we just want to hear the truth. Well, then I guess I am telling you what you want to hear. Boy, didn't we just tell you not to do that? Yes, sir. OK, then. Well, you'll be glad to know that High was paroled. Again. Well, welcome here, inmates. Uh, hope you're having a, a great time. Hope you enjoyed your yard time out there today. But it's back in your houses now. And I uh, just want to share with you a little bit of an update uh, that we have here for Chalkboard Prison. As you know, we signed on back in January with Black Watch Entertainment out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. And they have been working very hard to get this show uh, in front of the people who need to see it. Early on, they were able to do a pitch to CBC, uh, CBC Comedy and CBC Drama. And there was a few others. And they were able to do that uh, back in January in Winnipeg. And thanks to those pitches, they actually got some very good, uh, or very good, very strong interest from CBC Drama, who saw this as something that they'd, uh, they'd be willing to make, uh, eventually, of course. Um, and so Blackwatch Entertainment's been working uh, endlessly to see how we can get these wheels greased a bit. And it's expensive, as you know, to even just get shows into the pitch stage. Right? It takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, money, and energy. And so Blackwatch Entertainment uh, had, had gone to CBC Drama. CBC Drama responded favorably and enter the Canada Media Fund. Now, the Canada Media Fund is well named because that's what it is. It's a fund for any media that is Canadian based, Canadian content, which Chalkboard Prison is. Now, of course, it could be set anywhere, but I'm Canadian, my story's in Canada, and that's what we can relate to. And uh, each year, the networks in Canada can write two letters. That's for the networks, not the stations, but actual networks can write two letters to the Canada Media Fund asking for pre-production money. So money that will help you with the starting things up and getting things going towards a professional polished pitch uh, to the networks. And so CBC Drama, CBC actually, could only write two letters and one of them was Chalkboard Prison. So we feel pretty, uh, pretty blessed by that because they get, as you know, hundreds if not thousands of ideas each year. And so when they have to commit to, to you know, two, you know, to trying to help them out, uh, they could help anyone. And we already have the, the sizzle reel made, the trailer made, you know, we've already got some stuff down. Um, but they saw all that and they said, you know, we're going to help you out. So they wrote a letter to the Canada Media Fund. Well, the CMF uh, responded with a okay, which kind of blew us away. So we have some money now. Um, to go and get some stuff done to get a nicely polished pitch put together. Now what that means is they can hire, Blackwatch Entertainment can hire a writer, uh, like a show editor, and a digital design team that are going to put together a beautiful package that we can then go back to uh, CBC Drama and do a professional uh, pitch. Uh, and it's it's gonna look amazing, I just know it is. Um, and the nice thing is, is that if by the time we get there, it's looking like end of September to end of October, somewhere in there, the pitch should happen. But with COVID, you know, everything's, the, the timelines are all uh, pretty fractured. But that's the idea is to get this done in a couple of months. When that happens, if CBC says, you know, it's not exactly what we were looking for. We're going in a different direction. How many times have we heard that in the entertainment industry? Um, but if they decide to pass, we still have this professional package put together with the, the pilot script, the show Bible, uh, and any other presentation materials that they can put together with the money that the CMF have, uh, have graciously given to us. And so then we can go to other networks and other places to uh, shop the show. So this is a, this is a, a fantastic first step for us. Uh, it's going to give us uh, some real power going forward and some real focus. So we're very excited about it. Wanted to let you know. 
uh, via video so you don't have to read this long drawn out thing. It's uh, nice and quick. Um, on the uh, another bonus for us, Black Watch is located in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And the good thing about that is right now, uh, CBC especially, but other networks are also looking for fresh material. They're looking for new places for stories to come out, uh, regional stories that don't get the love. You know, Vancouver, Montreal, Toronto, lots of stories come out of there, but not too many come out of, you know, Winnipeg, you know, uh, that are specifically Winnipeg. You know, they shoot in Winnipeg and say, you know, we're in Chicago, or they shoot outside of Winnipeg and we're, you know, in Kansas or something. Uh, but this is actually specific to Winnipeg. And that will draw a lot more attention as well. Uh, so the show itself, uh, they have, Blackwatch has, has made the choice to shoot it in Winnipeg, uh, in Manitoba, and make the stories uh, about things that happened there. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to be so fresh and exciting because nobody's done that. And that'll just give us one more notch uh, that other shows don't have. And so we're very excited about that, about the, the possibilities that will bring. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you are having a, you know, a great summer here in 2020. Stay safe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. As soon as we know anything, we'll give you the update. Take care, and uh, I hope you get early parole too.